In this video, we'll be looking at angle relationships in triangles. We'll start with some definitions. And our first definition is a polygon. Polygon is a type of shape. A polygon is a closed figure made up of line segments. And a triangle, which has three sides, is the simplest kind of polygon. Let's consider triangle ABC. We know it's a polygon because it's a closed figure. It's a triangle because it has three sides. And we want to try and figure out what the interior angles in a triangle add up to. Interior angles are the angles formed on the inside of a polygon by two sides meeting in a vertex. So the sides of a triangle are obviously the lines and where two lines meet that's a vertex. So if we want to figure out what the interior angles in a triangle add up to we can measure the angles in the triangle. If I want to measure the interior angles in this triangle I have a protractor here that I can use. What I'd like you to do at home is download a protractor app for your smartphone draw your own triangle, any kind of triangle that you want, use the protractor app on your phone, see if you can figure out how to use it, and measure the interior angles in your triangle. And as you do that, you can follow along with me as I measure the interior angles in my triangle. So using the protractor, I'll start with angle C. So I'm measuring angle C. And it looks like angle C is about 16 degrees. Next I'll measure angle B. Angle B is a larger angle. And when I use my protractor to measure angle B, it looks about 130 degrees. Next I'll measure angle A, again with my protractor. And when I zoom in, it looks like my angle is just a little bit shy of 35 degrees. So let's call that 34 degrees. So in my triangle, I got an angle of 34 degrees, 130 degrees, and 16 degrees. If I add those all up, 34 plus 130 plus 16, I get 180 degrees. And you, on your own, should have gotten something very close to the same. You might have ended up with 178, you might have ended up with 182, and that's because with our protractor we're not exact, so we're going to get a few errors. But in general, always, the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So let's try a problem. Here in triangle ABC, I know the angle measurement for angle A, I know the angle measurement for angle B, I want to find angle C. So we know in a triangle, angle A plus angle B plus angle C should equal 180 degrees. If I rearrange this, angle C should equal 180 minus angle A minus angle B. or angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus 95 minus 40. So angle C should equal or does equal 45 degrees. If we can have interior angles in a triangle, it stands to reason that we could also look at exterior angles. Exterior angles are formed 
by extending one side past the vertex. So if I look at this triangle XYZ and I imagine taking side XZ and letting it continue on past the vertex, doing that creates an exterior angle. That angle YZA is an exterior angle. And likewise, if I extended side ZY in the same way, I've made another exterior angle. And if I extend side XY, there's a third exterior angle. It's important to note when we're constructing exterior angles, each side gets extended only once. So don't, if you're building exterior angles, think that you have to extend your other side to look something like this. Okay, this is bad. Don't do that. When creating exterior angles, each side only gets extended once. So here's a challenge for you to try. I've drawn a figure. You can see it in front of you. There's a triangle, L, M, N, with some angles known and one angle unknown. I've also extended each side of the triangle to create an exterior angle. I would like you to try and figure out what the exterior angles of the triangle add up to. I'd like you to bring your solution to class tomorrow so that we can look at it and discuss it at the beginning of class. So the very first thing I'm going to look at in class tomorrow is your solution to this challenge problem. I will give you one hint. The lines that you create when you extend your figure, extend your shape to create those exterior angles are straight lines. So side LF is a straight line. So bring your solution to class tomorrow so we can start our conversation in class about this problem.